I'm looking at Intel, dreadful forecast. I'm looking at Microsoft this week, deceleration ahead. Are you hearing exactly what you expected to hear from these tech firms? Uh, actually, I think it's a little bit worse, but it's directionally confirmatory, you know, Jonathan, with, I think, uh, where you know uh, the folks at Morgan Stanley have been, which is that there is definitive risk uh, to the earnings profile as both pricing power and volumes decline, uh, coming off what has been a historic stimulus over the last two and a half years, uh, and a pull forward in demand. You know, we used to say, uh, you know, uh, that, you know, what happens to GM happens to the U.S. economy. I, I would say we're in a world, given the uh, ubiquity of semiconductors, that what happens to Intel happens to the economy. You can learn something from the incoming information, and you can learn something from the way the market responds to that data. What are we learning in terms of the market response? Well, we're learning right now, um, you know, to the points that have been made, is this is a, a investor uh, driven market where folks want to uh, view the glass as half full. Uh, they want to look through the bad news and hope for better days. And their view is, uh, is you know, the hope for better days is that somehow, you know, the Fed is going to miraculously start cutting sometime soon and that that's going to be the panacea uh, for everything. Um, we are in the camp, as you know, uh, that suggests that that. Um, is is a little bit too much wishful thinking. Uh, and then a lot of what's really gone on here uh, in the first, uh, you know, uh, four weeks of the year is much more emblematic of flows. Uh, we have seen in since October a massive global easing of U.S. dollar liquidity. How often do you see commodity prices uh, uh, round trip at the same time that the U.S. dollar is down 11 percent, at the same time that the United States Treasury stops issuing and sucking liquidity in, at the same time that the Bank of Japan uh, is uh, contemplating the end to yield curve control and the end to their uh, bond buying program? How often does that happen? Never. And so we have seen this easing of financial conditions that is spectacular. It's flying in the face of what the Fed is trying to do. Uh, and I think it's all money flows that are driving this market right here.